Foundation Module 1, Ewart's Modular Integrated Undergraduate Curriculum Physiology, Dr. M. Ashraf Thind, Senior Demonstrator, Sheikh Zayed Medical College, Physiology Department, Founder and CEO of Dr. Sheen Kam, Medical Superfast Simplified Physiology, Video Lecture Notes, Guyton and Hall, 14, Edition Chapter Number 1, Lecture Number 4, Explain the Positive and Negative Feedback, Mechanism with examples. Learning objective. 1. Definition of feedback. Mechanism. 2. Components of feedback. Mechanism. 3. Purpose. Objective. Of feedback. Mechanism. 4. Positive feedback. Mechanism with examples. 5. Why. Positive feedback may cause vicious cycle and death. 6. Why positive's feedback is a part of an overall negative feedback process. 7. Negative feedback. 8. Negative feedback mechanism with example. 1. Definition of feedback. Mechanism. Feedback is a cycle of events in the human body in which the status of a body condition is monitored, evaluated, changed, remonitored, and control various physiological processes. 2. Components of feedback mechanism. A feedback system consists of three basic components. 1. A receptor or sensor detector. This component find out the change in the normal value and function. This pathway is called an afferent pathway and sends input to a control center. 2. A control center or integration center. This processes the information from the receptor, sensor, and determines the corrective action required to bring the system back to the set point. Output from the control center occurs as nerve impulses, hormones, or other chemical signals. This pathway is called an efferent pathway. 3. An effector. This is a body structure that receives output from the control center and carries out the corrective action to adjust the system's output. Note. Every organ or tissue in the body can behave. An effector. 3. The purpose, objective, feedback mechanism, system. The purpose, objective, of a feedback system is to monitor and control the performance of a system by comparing its actual output with a reference value, set point, and making corrections as required to achieve a specific goal. This process helps the body maintain a stable internal environment by adjusting various variables such as temperature, blood glucose, levels, and hormone secretion. 4. Positive Feedback Mechanism with Examples Definition of Positive Feedback 1. When final result is more of initial stimulus, it is called positive feedback. 2. When the products are more than reactants, is called positive feedback. 3. Positive feedback is a process in which an initial stimulus produces a response that it enhances change in the original conditions, or it tends to push the system further away from its original state. Positive feedback can lead to rapid and sometimes seriously changes. Positive feedback can sometimes be useful. Blood clotting. Blood clotting is an example of a valuable use of positive feedback. When a blood vessel is ruptured and a clot begins to form, multiple enzymes called clotting factors are activated within clot. Some of these enzymes act on other inactivated enzymes to the nearby blood and causing more blood clotting. This process remains continues until the hole is plugged and bleeding stops. Two, childbirth. When uterine contractions become strong for the baby, stretching of the cervix is head to begin pushing through the cervix back to the body of the uterus causing more powerful contractions. When this process becomes powerful, the baby is born. 3. Generation of nerve signals. Stimulation of the membrane of a nerve fiber causes slight leakage of sodium ions through sodium channels in the nerve membrane to the fiber's interior. The sodium ions entering the fiber then change the membrane potential, which, in turn, causes more opening of channels, more change of potential, still more opening of channels. This process continues until the nerve signal goes all the way to the end of the fiber. 5. Why positive feedback may cause vicious cycle and death. Positive feedback leads to instability rather than stability and, in some cases, can cause death the heart of a healthy human, pumping about 5 liters of blood per minute.
If the person suddenly bleeds a total of two liters, the amount of blood in the body is decreased to such a low level that little blood is present for the heart to pump effectively as a result. The arterial pressure falls and the flow of blood to the heart. Muscles through the coronary vessels decreases. This scenario results in weakening of heart, further decreased pumping, a further decrease in coronary blood flow, and still more weakness of the heart. The cycle repeats itself again and again until death occurs. Positive feedback is sometimes known as a vicious cycle, but a mild degree of positive feedback can be overcome by the negative feedback, control mechanisms of the body, and the vicious cycle. Then fails to develop, for example, if the person bleeds only one lighter instead of two lighters, the normal negative feedback. Mechanisms for controlling cardiac output and arterial pressure can counterbalance the positive feedback and the person can recover, as shown by the dashed curve of figure given below. Six, why positives feedback is a part of an overall negative feedback process. In each case in which positive feedback is useful, the positive feedback is a part of an overall negative feedback process. For example, in the case of blood clotting, the positive feedback clotting process is a negative feedback process for the maintenance of normal blood volume. Also, the positive feedback that causes nerve signals allows the nerves to take part in thousands of negative feedback. Nervous control systems. 7. Negative feedback definition. It is a corrective mechanism involving an action that directly opposes a variation from normal limits. Or when final result is opposite to initial stimulus, it is called negative feedback. Or when products are less than the reactants. 8. Negative feedback. Mechanism with examples. Most control systems of the body act by negative feedback. In the regulation of carbon dioxide concentration, a high concentration of carbon dioxide in the extracellular fluid, ECF, increases pulmonary ventilation. This, in turn, decreases the extracellular fluid carbon dioxide concentration because the lungs expire greater amounts of carbon dioxide from the body. The high concentration of carbon dioxide initiated events that decrease the concentration toward normal, which is negative, to the initiating stimulus. In the arterial pressure, B, regulating mechanisms, a high pressure, causes a series of reactions that promote increased pressure, or a low pressure, causes a series of reactions that promote increased pressure. In both cases, these effects are negative with respect to the initiating stimulus. Therefore, in general, if some factor becomes excessive or deficient, a control system initiates negative feedback, which consists of a series of changes that return the factor toward a certain mean value, thus maintaining homeostasis.